Hello, here I am joined with a few horse riders from Epping and I'm going to ask them their opinion on the grids for the cows uh, which are going to be, uh, at the moment we have a public inquiry going on um, so um, I'll, I'll, in I'll let these people introduce themselves because I haven't even asked what their names are. Hi. <laughs> so, um, what do you think of the proposed four cow grids um, that might be put up in Epping Forest? Um, my name's Mia and this is Becky and um, we think that it will be too, mi too many grids they're proposing to put up and it will be very hard for us to keep getting through the gates onto busy main roads. My daughter rides, it will be a danger for her. Apologies, this, the, 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 the um, focus is really bad on this, go on. <laughs> um, oh my god, it's gone nearer. Oh, uh, it's moved it away again. Okay, hello. hello. Oh, this is a bit better. I can see you a bit better. Hello. I mean, I'm not. I'm an amateur in using this. <laughs> so, well, what do you think of the proposal? Do you? How do you think it will affect your horses? Well, my name's Brenda. Um, I don't. I'm not opposed to the cattle grids in one way because I don't think it'll make too much difference. Although there are some people who drive horses and track around the forest and they won't be able to. Um, I'm in favour of the one to, which they're planning to block the traffic down on the M25 because that is not wrong to block any horses from going down on the M25, that's not what they're going to say. I don't think they're, they're particularly necessary things so because the, the cattle that are on the forest are easily pested and ready into the forest land and they, mm -hmm. they don't tend to stray in any case and they're fenced in quite a lot of areas and they're also still developing the electronic fences which are yeah, I yeah. Don't think necessary. But I know they're planning to put them there as a way of demarcating where the forest starts and where it ends. Yeah, and that's yeah. Got, that's got some merit, but um, I, I do think one of the key issues is that they will discriminate against one particular road which is the drive Oh, yeah, so because. Be so, in case your, your horse gets. Well, I don't um, drive my horse, so it wouldn't actually affect me, but it would affect everybody. Because they wouldn't be able to get over the cattle grid? or no, they would have to, in theory, drive their horse and cart through the, the gate at the side of it, but that's, that's a very difficult thing to do if you're on your own. Ah. Not how you open the gate. Oh, of course, it's yeah. Open, it's, not, it's not practical. So, um, are they in, do you know if they're going to be putting more cows on? or? Yeah, they are increasing mm. the herd. Yeah. And, uh, I, I like the cows. A lot of horse riders don't like the cows, but we do like the cows. And and what what do you think, sir, about the whole situation? Well, again, uh, I'm Andy, and this is Patsy. Hello, uh, Patsy. Hi. We uh, the the gates on the big main roads approaching the forest. That's fine, like the M25, maybe at Wanstead, but there there's far too many for the forest area itself, uh, which aren't needed, I don't think they're needed, as, as Brenda said, the cattle are well hefted and they stay in areas. Oh, shut up. Uh, and also there's uh, electronic <laughs> means of keeping them within an area. Uh, I don't think, I don't think what's proposed is a good yeah. value for them. Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay, thank you very much. This is Melissa reporting from Epping Forest on the 23rd of November. <laughs>